In these problems, we're solving some algebraic equations that are a little more complicated and have some more steps to take care of. The first thing to do in this one is to combine the like terms. So we're going to look on each side of the equation for th terms that uh, have the same letters. So here we have 6x, here we have 5x, those are like terms. And also the 1 and the 2 are like terms. If we combine 6x plus 5x, that's going to be 11x, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So that side simplifies to 11x plus 3. And we have our equal sign. Let's do the same over here. We have a negative 2x and a positive x. That's, you should think of this as a 1x. So negative 2 plus 1, that's a negative 1x. I'm going to write that just as a negative x. And then we also have the negative 4 and the negative 1. That adds up to a negative so the first step was just to combine like terms. That's number one. The next step here is uh, we have to deal with this problem that we have x's on both sides of the equation. So we want to get the x on just one side. So get x on one side. You can do this by adding or subtracting the x's from one side of the equation. If I wanted to get rid of this 11x, I could subtract 11x, and that would disappear. If I wanted to get rid of this negative 1x, I could add 1x, and that would make that disappear. Uh, I'll have to do the same thing, whichever one I choose, um, to the other side of the equation, but that's how you go about it. In general, I like positive numbers more than negative numbers, so I'm going to try to get rid of this negative 1x. I do that by adding 1x. But if I add 1x to this side, I have to add 1x to that side. All right, so let's do that addition here. A negative x and a positive x come out to be 0. So it's like they disappear. And all that's left on this side of the equation is negative 5. Over here, I have 11x plus 1x. That is 12x. And then I have my plus 3. All right, so that looks a little more uh, handleable for a, an algebraic equation. Now I've got that typical situation where I have my x term, and then I have some other number hanging out here. I want to get rid of that other number first before I do the division. Um, it's a positive 3, so I'm going to do the opposite of that. I'm going to subtract 3. If I do it to this side, have to do it to this side. Over here, positive 3, negative 3, add up to 0. I'm just left with 12x. And over here, a negative 5 and a negative 3 is a negative 8. All right. Now, the last thing here that's being done to x is that it's being multiplied by 12. I want to undo that multiplication, so I'm going to divide by 12. So here we can think of the 12s canceling. That just leaves x perfect. That's what I want. Over here, we have negative 8 twelfths, and I think I can simplify that. They're both divisible by 2, so that would be negative 4 sixths. Those are both still divisible by 2. If I did that, it would be negative 2 thirds. So x equals negative 2 thirds. All right, let's try another tricky type of equation. And this one is tricky because it has decimals. And um, if this becomes difficult, we'll just drag out our calculator and use that to solve the problem. But we're going to do the same uh, basic uh, steps we did before. We're going to first combine like terms on each side of the equation. So here we have 0.1h, and here we have 0.4h. 0.1 plus 0.4 is 0.5. So we have 0.5h. And then we have this negative 0.03. And over here, we have 0 0.2 plus h. And here, you have to remember, this is 1 h. That's a whole h. This is 0.5 h. That's like half h. Um, sometimes when you do the adding and subtracting with decimals, it's easy to forget that this is 1. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, the next step, just like in the last one, we want to get h on just one side of the equation. So I could do that by either getting rid of the 0.5h, by subtracting 0.5h, or I could get rid of the whole h by subtracting 1h. 
Uh, I think if I subtract 1h here, I'd have to subtract 1h here, and we'd end up with a negative number. I want to avoid that. So I'm just going to get rid of this 0.5h. So I'm going to subtract 0.5h. If I do that to this side, I have to do it to this side. And I'm just going to write in the 1 here so I don't forget. All right, so on this side, 0.5h minus 0.5h, that's 0. We can just forget about that. So all I'm left with is negative 0.03. And on this side of the equation, I have my 0.2. And then 1 minus 0.5, use your calculator if this gets confusing, that is 0.5. This is 1 minus a half equals a half. So this is plus 0.5h. Okay, so far so good. Now we've got a situation, although usually you might be used to seeing the, the variable on the left side of the equation. doesn't matter. It's still the same thing. We've got our variable term, our h term. We've got another number hanging out, and then a number over on this side. So we want to get the h term, the variable term, alone. So let's get rid of this point 2. I can do that. This is a positive point 2 by subtracting point 2 from both sides. Over here, those disappear. I'm just left with 0.5h. And over here, uh, a negative 0.03 and a negative 0.2 is going to be a negative 0.23. Oops. Now, our last step is to undo this multiplication. h is being multiplied by 0.5. So we actually need to divide by 0.5. And sometimes this seems a little bit weird. When you divide by an, a fraction, a number that's between 0 and 1, it's actually going to make this bigger. So this 0.23 is actually going to get bigger. Sometimes that's confusing. Why would division make something bigger? But if you divide by a, a decimal between 0 and 1, that's going to happen. Over here, you can think of the 0.5s as canceling out. And over here, we have a negative 0.23 divided by 0.5. If you want to use your calculator for that, you could certainly do that. Although you could probably do this problem in your head, but let's let's use the calculator to start. And we'll divide by 0.5. And we get a negative 0.46. Now, dividing by 0.5 is the same thing as multiplying by 2. You divide by a half, you multiply by 2. So, that's why you might have been able to do this in your head and 0.23 times 2 is 0.46, and that's our value for h. So that's a little bit of work in solving some trickier algebraic equations.